Why are so many prison calls recorded and stored? I'm Scott Schober, and this is your two minute cybersecurity briefing. On November 11, an anonymous hacker leaked records of more than 70 million calls stolen from Securus technology. Securus provides phone service to landline phones in jails and prisons across the country covering 1.2 million inmates. The Intercept examined 37 gigabytes of leaked data and found it consisted of databases that included the prisoner's names, the phone number called, the call date, and the time and duration of the call. The hacker also provided links to some call recordings. So why are all of these prison phone calls being recorded and stored? The problem is not all calls can legally be recorded. There is little doubt prisons need to monitor inmate calls as prisoners have used the phone system to communicate with accomplices on the outside. The problem is not all calls can legally be recorded. The leaked call records contain an estimated 14,000 calls from jail to numbers linked to attorneys. Communications between inmates and their legal counsel are constitutionally protected under the Sixth Amendment. Prisoners who cannot afford bail or are held without bail must use the prison phone system to communicate with their legal representative. Most of the phone calls were of a mundane nature. Should these calls be stored for an infinite length of time? After the calls are recorded, the company had an obligation to keep them confidential. Instead, the data and the recordings were stored on the cloud server a hacker was able to access. The monitoring of phone calls is one reason prisoners go to such great lengths to obtain contraband cell phones. Some of these lengths even include contraband smuggled in via body cavities, cats, and even drones. Another reason is the high rates the companies that provide prison phone systems formally charged inmates and their families. The Federal Communication Commission took steps to rein in the fees on interstate calls last year and in state calls in October. These factors have fostered an environment where inmates will pay exorbitant prices for even basic cell phones. So fighting the tide of contraband phones becomes even more critical to ensure the safety of people on both sides of the prison walls. Companies like BVS offer cell phone detection tools to help sniff out these contraband phones.